morning uh, guess what we're doing today you're coming to work with me so first i want to say a huge thank you to bloom for sponsoring this video i'm gonna be using the green powder because i am always trying to find ways to incorporate more greens into my diet uh, this one has over 30 plus organic greens, uh, vegetables, fruits, antioxidants, probiotics, all the things that are gonna aid your digestion, skin health, because I'm currently very much in need of that, and overall energy levels. Again, I can never have enough of that. We put some eyes, this is so easy. If there's something that I've learned is that for best results, you have to do it every single day because there is no magic solution, okay? Okay, I just took off the filter that this camera has. Um, I was about to talk on the fact that I got this insane breakout, never ever had in my life. I went to the dermatologist and they're like, yeah, it's, uh, it's acne slash eczema. What aggravated it? I don't know. They like put me on antibiotics, like, I feel like I'm uh, reliving uh, teenage years, so this is fun. And you know, in a couple of weeks, fashion month begins and we're starting to travel and doing all the fashion-y stuff, so this gotta go. Because I am filming today, I actually have a podcast episode. I will have to use a bit more foundation than I usually like to, but it is what it is. Also, to be honest, since skin condition happened, I kind of moved away from all my products to make sure that nothing gets aggravated. So I'm literally using CeraVe as my moisturizer and keeping it the most basic I can. But you know what? I do want to do a little gua sha session because I feel like I'm bloated. What? Bloated? Not bloated. I feel like my skin, my face needs a little exercise. Okay, I wanted to do a quick gua sha session because something I've noticed that is happening is the muscles here are getting <laughs> wiggly wiggly, you know? There's no more support like it used to. And I honestly think that it's just because we don't train these muscles and we don't exercise them. So I'm hoping that also with gua sha and some yoga exercises that I'm trying to nail down, like, you know, and like, the, you put the, the tongue up your thing I don't know I can't show it to you you don't see what's going on in my mouth uh, but I'm hoping that if I'll be consistent I'll see a difference because I feel like I will I used to do gua sha regularly and it was amazing and then I got lazy so no more laziness okay because we're entering my 33rd year gotta work harder now Summer is not over for us yet. The kids are still at home. They're studying school in two weeks. Everyone else already started school. Our school is on a different schedule. They had full three months off and it was nice, but it's time for routine. Like for all of us. I feel like they're also kind of going crazy without a routine. And it's very hard to maintain a routine when Gary and I work so much and focus on so many different things right now. I'm really going in with preparation for shoot day. I feel like I need to make a whole other video about it. To show you what I do. Because I didn't have enough time to take me to work with you, to take you to work with me, and to show you what I do. So. And then it's like... Um, with this one, it's not underneath. Wait, 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 I'm lying. I remember. Yeah, with this one, it's not underneath. Yeah, you're right. With this one, it's, it's the opposite way. It's called physics. Way. Oh, yeah? Look, guys. They're in a water bottle. Okay. <gasps> oh, my God, guys. You're stuck in the water bottle? Guys? No. Guys, you're in the water bottle. We are not. Thank God I didn't work out this morning because with all these demands, I woke up early. So I'm actually able to 
meet these demands from the children. <laughs> ah, two more weeks, baby. Two more weeks. Because being a parent these days is a lot harder than it used to be. Now we have to take care of their emotional, physical, mental, all these different things that, trust me, my mother did not think about. Or probably your parents didn't think about. So today we have a busy day, but honestly an exciting one. I, I absolutely love my job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Today we have a podcast recording, so I'm actually talking to uh, my friend, the millennial therapist, Sarah Kubrick. Uh, she just wrote a book called um, It's On Me, and it's about self-loss, and I'm extremely excited for this conversation. She is an extinct... I need to learn how to say it. Existential. Existential. Existential therapist. Existential. Existential existential yes okay it's usually in the mornings before i uh, leave for the office i shoot my outfit of the days which you probably have seen and they're all happening in my closet um and i'm going to show you a little bit of the setup of how it works so this is my little setup courtesy of uh, amazon i tried and thought that i'll be able to put this whole like system of like lighting uh, in place but I've had a couple of companies come in and no one knows what they're doing so I decided to just lean into my DIY personality and I bought these light strips they are plugged into that that one I created that was the only like non-DIY action over here and I have my mount over here I'm gonna put my camera and that's where I stand. For today, I am going towards a denim on denim look. I got inspired because we shot yesterday a fashion YouTube video about denim on denim, which is going to be a huge trend, by the way. And I'm gonna show you. You're gonna see it in the video. It, there were so many good outfits, but there was one outfit where I was like, okay, I am gonna wear this to my podcast tomorrow. It's this gorgeous maxi skirt and an oversized denim shirt it's gonna be tucked in so don't worry don't worry about this for my videos i use an iphone and i just place it with the camera i place it with the how do you call this not front face camera the other one the other face camera I place it like this and I just hit record. Good morning! You're actually being watched because I'm vlogging as well. I'm doing a day in the life. Let's pack my bag for the day. I'm gonna put my say lip and then my wallet would be in. Notebook, my computer, AirPods another lipstick because why not i am all packed up to go but i have to get something into my stomach because it's gonna be a long day so i'm gonna get some greens on and breakfast and honestly i'm killing it this morning getting ready for our podcast um I'm going to go through the book now because with this episode I did something different where usually I prepare these questions. I actually wanted the book to lead me because there's so many goodies in here. So I kind of highlighted and wrote question inside the book. So I'm just gonna put some sticky notes so I'm able to find the pages that I'm referring to and it's not gonna be a conversation of five hours while I'm trying to find what I'm talking about. We're also styling for a brand partner. We're doing a shoot for David Yerman and we wanna do something fun, transition. We're gonna actually go outside and do it, uh, probably to the design district. We wanna have like three different scenes. Ooh, having two phones is so fun. Um, and uh, we need to put a few outfits together because we didn't end up doing that a couple of days ago. We were doing all the other things. But this is also great for me because it's like I'm learning to like roll with it, like be in the flow of things, you know? Just like Jakey said, you don't get everything you want in life. <laughs> Mom, life is not fair. It's not always what you want. Well, I'm still gonna use it. It looks really cute.
So I'm going to introduce you guys to Dean because he is a new member of our team here in Miami. Thank you. Where am I supposed to sit? The door seat? Oh, shoot. Okay, Dean, introduce yourself, please. Hi, I'm Dean. I am hilarious content producer, creator, camera guy, everything. Um, yeah. All the things. Dean is like the extension of the creative team in Toronto uh, that obviously is not here to help out and uh, is here to also support Celine because Celine was doing all the jobs. We are off to the design district. We're gonna showcase um, beautiful Miami. We're gonna get a smoothie. Smoothie. You know the kind of like the Zara model? Quickly, pose like a Zara model. So I wanted to do that variation for just like posing in general. Oh, so we're doing it with the David German jewelry and um, it's gonna look great. Outfit number two. This is, I'm way too dressed for this heat. So we got the jewelry on and let's do the second look. We have total three. The first one we knocked out immediately. Last outfit. Holy man, is it hot. Okay, we wrapped up for the day, uh, finished all our project. It was, it was awesome. I'm really energetic. I feel like something shifted in my mindset in the past couple of months where instead of like I have to do something, I like I get to do. And I always think how grateful I am for this work that I'm able to be creative every day, that it's something dynamic every day. And although it feels super chaotic, uh, because I'm doing 500 things at the same time. I honestly enjoy it so much. So another day, another Zala. Finish the podcast tomorrow. It's another day of podcasts and a few other shootings and uh, we're gearing up for fashion month. So overall, there's a lot, but I wanted to give you a little taste of how it all feels and sounds like and a bit of my thoughts in between. So I hope you enjoyed it. Heading home now. We're gonna see my chandelier. It's kind of like the sweet ending to this day. I mean, I hope it's sweet. I hope it's sweet. I hope it looks the way it needs to look because that chandelier is what holding up the whole room, okay? So we're gonna experience this together. <laughs> this is the moment. See it together. We're gonna see it together. Nice. I mean, there is a hole in the ceiling, but overall, pretty lady. Switching to my mode. Thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you next time.